Recent news reports have cast a harsh light on the settler colonial project called Canada. We have breaking news tonight of another terrible finding. The discovery of the remains of hundreds of Native children, murdered and dumped into unmarked graves, has shaken the smug, self-satisfied image of America's polite neighbor to the North. There is a reckoning taking place, one that is both important and long overdue. But calls to cancel Canada Day are not enough. The contradictions of the Canadian state can no longer be papered over by token land acknowledgements and the fake tears of politicians pursuing active campaigns of genocide, erasure, and ecological ruin. It's long past time that those who live on these lands come to terms with what Canada really is, what it always has been. Canada is a fake country. Even its name is stolen. The Canadian state was invented to protect Britain's supply of dead beavers, timber, and gold from upstart American expansionism. It has since evolved into a cartel controlled by finance and extractive capital. Its flag is a joke, and its national persona is a collection of stereotypes and feel-good emotions because it has no authentic culture of its own. Canada created a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to investigate its own crimes, ignored all its recommendations, and then bragged about it anyway. It employs death squads to protect its mining interests in the global south, while calling itself a peacekeeping nation. It lauds itself a climate leader, despite being the worst per capita contributor to carbon emissions in the world. This is the true essence of Canadian exceptionalism. As the churches built on the open air prison camps of Canada's reservation system burn, let's remember who it was that snatched up those children and handed them over to the priests and why they did it. Let's pledge to dismantle this colonial project once and for all. Do you understand where you stand?